What's going on everybody? Come back. We got an unboxing to do. What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing on this evening? Hope you liked the new time for the videos to go live at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time from here on out. Um, I've got a video coming for why I changed it. Um, you'll see that later on down the road. This video is about this unboxing. And one of the things I like from companies is presentation when you're unboxing. This one holds no nothing back. This one lets you know. Um, I have already opened it. I already have fondled it a little bit. Sorry. Not going to be on camera font. Well, yeah, there will be. A, anyway. Um, but I've been kind of excited about this because I've also been looking for the original. And they're pricey. You can buy them fairly inexpensive. I mean, you can get them in the downwards of $30, $40, but they can also can go as high as $150 for some that are still have the original packaging. So let's pop this open and see what's going on. All right, so let's open her up. Leatherman. Now, if you're not subscribed to any of the Leatherman stuff and you don't know what all's coming out or don't know what's new out, this is new. Now, I will read you the little backstory real quick on this. Inspired by Tim Leatherman's original PST, which is the tool I've been kind of looking for on eBay, and will eventually get one. This is the Bond. Pairs minimal design with highly functional tools for the job at hand. At a mere 5.8 ounces, this stainless steel workhorse provides 14 essential tools, including pliers, a durable 420HC knife blade, and a set of standard screwdrivers. So, let's get into it and see. You've already read what it comes with. I did purchase this from Leatherman myself, so it wasn't a given. Like I said, packaging is everything. And presentation is everything so you open it up you got a card on top tells you everything about it gives you all the details up here you get a nylon sheath not the leather sheath like the original PST comes with but you can order the leather sheath for this uh, this one's just a basic with a snap I think they have this on a few of their different um, multi-tools and it's just got a belt loop holder i will be putting this on and wearing it for a few weeks so here's the tool itself if i can get it out of the box here we go all right so the first thing that stands out to me on this and i've already read and have already got it in my cart you can put let's see focus focus there's two holes right there that's for a pocket clip Leatherman has learned we like pocket clips, especially on the smaller tools. Now, first thing I figured out when as soon as I got this open was how stiff it is. It is stiff. Um, gonna take some breaking in to get it where it needs to be. But there's your typical you needle know, nose pliers, wire cutters, and of course your strippers. I think. I think, well, no, the stripper is actually right. Let's see if you can see that right in there. Right in there. So that's your wire strippers and cutters. Needle nose pliers and regular pliers. So like I said, this is a throwback to the original PST or the original Leatherman tool. Uh, your first pocket you have, and so I can get all these right. I do have cheat sheet that I can't see from here because I have no glasses on. But this is your wood and metal file. I also use these to file fingernails. Don't tell my uh, person that does my nails, which is myself. Um, it does have a lanyard clip down there. Let's see if you can get that to come in. Come on, come on. There you go. See? Has that. There is 
your big flathead screwdriver. There is your little flathead screwdriver. You can all use so use this as a little pry tool. I have in the past and no problem whatsoever. Then you have a awl for if you need to sew some leather or anything like that. Like I said, it's very stiff and it's snappy. There is your blade right there. Up, up, focus. There is your blade. And she feels pretty sharp right out of the box. Like I said, here of late, they have really come up on their sharpness of their knives out of the box. I was really impressed. Like I said, I'm still using the uh, free and really liking it. There is your Phillips head screwdriver bit. And then last but not least, can opener, ball opener, all in one, right there. So, you get a total of uh, 14 tools, and there's also the ruler. They have it on this side here. It goes 4 inches or 10 centimeters. So, for anybody using centimeters, there's that. And then, us in America that we still use, uh, you know, everybody says, antiquated metric or imperial i guess that's what it's called but uh it is man this thing is stiff i mean really stiff and i don't know like right there it ah there it goes i'm afraid i won't pinch your finger so there it goes there it is there's the leatherman bond first look at it, focus there you go leatherman bond got on both sides okay so as of June 29th which is today when this is being filmed this sells for $49.95 on Leatherman's website I'm sure you can probably get some other places Blade HQ some of those people but I ordered it straight from Leatherman um, oh yeah she's loosening up already might throw a little bit of the KLP on there loosen it up some more but eventually it'll break in overuse. I will start carrying this this week. I'll, it'll start going in my on my belt every day. Like I said, it's small. So, you know, five point, what was, it, what was the weight? 5.8 ounces, I think. Yeah, 5.8 ounces. So you're not adding a ton of weight to yourself, which is cool. I mean, it's it's fairly light. I have to say it's a little lighter than the free K2 that I've got. Um, and plus it'll be on in the sheets on my belt. Like so. Like that. Focus, focus. There we go. So anyway, I'm, I'm happy to see this thing. I think it's pretty cool. Like I said, I've always wanted one of the originals. That would be the PST. Um, I'm going to get one of the originals. I'm a big fan of Leatherman and their products. Um, they're just a workhorse. They're a solid workhorse. They do what they've got to do. Get you through. So there's, there's been plenty of times when I've had my other Leathermans with me that I needed the pliers. I needed something else. So it's pretty nice to have both of them. You know have it ready to go at any time okay before we close out the video so what i thought i'd do is compare it to a couple of the leathermans i've got that are real popular ones uh first one is super tool 300. i mean talk about loose <laughs> you can tell this thing's been carried a ton um so if we're going to compare sizes here's the bond there's the super tool 300 so this one which I've had a long time now is the Leatherman Wave so you'll see thickness wise it's closer to the Wave length wise it's closer to the Wave um, it's kind of in between the Wave and yeah it's kind of in between it's about the same as the Wave it is close to the same length as the Wave so if you want something smaller than the Super Tool to carry around every day then there you go the Leatherman Bond um you just can't be i mean this this thing's old this one's i never bought this one new either but 
it's it's held up it's you know you can't beat their tools i'm sorry you just can't uh the wave opened up you got pretty similar pliers now to look at it to the wave oh yeah the more i open this up the better it gets so yeah the player the pliers are real similar to the wave of course these got the interchangeable bits on the so there you go there's a little comparison between the wave and the super tool 300 as far as size goes so there you go you got some idea now what size this thing is um but that's it for now just thought i'd break those out real quick so you have some kind of comparison don't forget to check out my medic one of the sponsors of the channel and uh that's it for now i appreciate you watching subscribe share and like and uh, invite all your friends to subscribe and do all that stuff because the more people we get the more things i do all right guys be prepared